back to my channel and look I got bangs oh my goodness yes I took a leap of faith and I got my bangs trimmed but I love them they're so cute shout out to my hairstylist Heather for doing such an amazing job getting my bangs done I kind of just wanted to change my look without doing it way drastically so the length of my hair is pretty much the same and then I have these really cute fringe side bangs or I can make them straight across which is awesome so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about my bangs and would you get bangs today's video is all about a get to know me tag I realize that I'm getting a lot of subscribers but I don't have videos that really talk about stuff that I like or my personality so I really wanted to do this to relate to my subscribers that way I can figure out what kind of content I should post so if you guys have any suggestions or by the end of this video if you have something similar to me just let me know just comment below and say hi so we're just gonna go ahead and get started it's, there's a lot of questions I'm gonna try to get through them as fast as possible. Question number one, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple, but it kind of alternates. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's green. I guess it just depends the time of the year and the season. Question number two, how tall are you? I am 5'2", I'm super short, I'm fun sized, and a lot of people think that I'm taller than what I really am, but I am really just 5'2". Question number three. Cats or dogs? Definitely dogs. You guys have seen my beautiful puppy Chip in all my videos, or most of my videos, and I absolutely love dogs. Not that I don't like cats. I like cats too, but I definitely prefer dogs. Question number four. Funniest moment throughout school? Well, I have been through all my schooling. I graduated college last year, but the most funniest moment would probably be at my high school graduation. I was VP of my class and I had to make the announcement to let everybody know to rise and stand so that we could sing our school song. And at that moment, the band was supposed to be alert and ready to start playing the song and they didn't. So I decided to start singing the lyrics. Bad idea, like, bad idea. And basically, so I pretty much just screamed the lyrics to the best of, of my ability that was over with everyone threw their caps in the air and someone's cap landed on me and I said oh shit little did I know the mic was still on so if you go and find my high school graduation video which maybe I might be able to insert a clip here you can hear me say oh shit very softly if you listen really closely my brother was the one who realized this and busted out laughing because he could not believe what he had actually heard but it's the most funniest thing and he always brings it up i forgot what question we were on but next question are you in or have you gone to college i have gone to college i graduated last may from the university of north texas and i have a ba in theater performance and fun fact some famous alumni from my university are Dr. Phil and Nora Jones. And if you don't know who Nora Jones is, she's the singer who sings, Don't know why I didn't go. I don't know the lyrics. All right, next one. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? My favorite subject, orchestra. I know that's not really considered a subject, but orchestra was by far my favorite. I played the violin. I absolutely loved it. It was always like second period. So I would have my first period and then second period and it was just amazing. Got to play some awesome music and all my friends were in orchestra. So it was just a really good time. And my worst subject would probably have been math. I was not good at math in high school, so. Next question, what is your favorite drink? Oh, that's a hard question. So if I'm at a restaurant, my favorite drink would probably be lemonade and I love all types of lemonade. Strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade, pink lemonade, yellow lemonade, anything. Lemonade is good. I actually don't like sodas because of the carbonation. When I was little, I was given a soda, Coca-Cola, and I just, I could not handle the bubbles. It's just that weird sensation. 
I don't know. So I don't drink sodas at all. People find that fascinating, which I guess is good for me because it's good for my health. That way I can exchange that for all the chocolate I eat. But yeah, I just, I just don't drink sodas. Next question. What is your favorite perfume? Right now, my favorite perfume is Victoria's Secret. It's called Night. It's so sexy and romantic and has that perfect amount of strength, strength and smell or scent that it will last um, pretty long in the night. Tea or coffee? Definitely coffee. I'm sorry for all my tea lovers. I just, I've just never really been into tea. I've tried tea, I try to do tea with lemonade. It's just really not my thing. I think it's just because it just doesn't have enough sugar for me. I love sugar, which is so bad. But definitely coffee. But overall, I really don't drink both of those a lot, to be honest. I drink coffee, you know, seasonal, or whenever I get invited to go out to get a coffee. But other than that, I don't drink coffee every day for the morning to get up. Like, coffee doesn't really make, wake me up. It doesn't really do anything for me. Next question, what sports do you play or have you played in? So I no longer play sports because I'm not in school, but I do work out in the gym from time to time. And when I was in elementary school, I played soccer all the way up to the end of my eighth grade. And then during middle school, while I was playing soccer, I played tennis. And in high school, I ended up doing cross country and track, which was crazy, but I ended up loving to run. And I made a lot of friends and going to the track meets and stuff were a lot of fun. Next one, are you single or taken? I, I'm just kidding. I am taken, I'm not married. Uh, I'm taken, I've been in a relationship for about two years and, two years and five months. So almost two and a half years, it's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I've been taken and I met my boyfriend in college. What's your idea of an ideal first date? Hmm, my ideal, my idea of an ideal first date. It honestly just depends on what kind of mood I am. I'm the type of person, I'm very introverted when it comes to going out. So if I'm in the mood to stay in, then my ideal date would probably be watching a Disney movie, cuddling, um, making some chocolate chip cookies, eating some popcorn. I love playing board games. I love playing Monopoly and all that fun stuff. I used to do that when I was growing up with my cousins. And I love playing uh, video games like Super Smash Brothers or Mario Party. That was like a really big thing when I was growing up. So any of that would be probably my ideal first date. But if I'm more in that more outgoing mood, it would probably be like a nice restaurant. I love food. So a restaurant, yeah, a movie's fine. Except in a movie, you really can't talk. So it's kind of hard to converse in a movie setting. But I don't know, something out of the ordinary, maybe something creative. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? In this case, boyfriends. Well, to be honest, my this my boyfriend, my current boyfriend is my first serious boyfriend. I don't consider any of my middle school. I don't, no, that's not. This is my first real serious relationship. So I guess you could say I just have one, just one. Favorite memory from childhood. I guess my favorite memory from my childhood is probably being in fifth grade and I loved fifth grade. It was such a great year and it's random, but it was when I met some of the most amazing people and when I uh, was introduced to the game Kingdom Hearts, AKA my poster right there, that changed my life. I would go every day to school looking for, play with all my friends because we would all imagine ourselves being Kingdom Hearts characters and having Keyblades and all this stuff. We would go to the playground, everyone would be a character and like our teacher was super chill. Plus that was a year I discovered Neopets and all this fun stuff. It was just so magical. And I just remember being so eager to go to school and I never had been that eager to go to school. So I absolutely loved being in fifth grade. So thank you to all my friends that made my fifth grade experience amazing. And you know who you are. Next one, do you speak any different languages and how well? So I speak Spanish, but it's all right. It's not that great. I understand it more than I can speak it because my parents speak it to me. So I just picked it up, I guess, when I was little. 
and I can just introduce myself. Hola, me llamo Cristina Martinez, tengo 23 años y soy de San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's bas my basic introduction in Spanish if anybody asks. You have any siblings? Yes, I have a sibling. I have one brother. He's a year and 16 days older than me. So we're like almost like twins and I love him to death. Kind of looks like me. People say I'm the legit girl version of my brother. And, oh my god, let me, I can pull up a picture. There's this Facebook app where it, you can, um, it says how you would look like if you were the opposite gender, gender. And I did it, and it did this like generator thing, and it popped, the picture popped up, and it was my brother. It was legit my brother. And I posted it, and people were freaking out. My mom was freaking out. Everyone was like, oh my god, like that's a picture of your brother. And I was like, no, this thing like generated it. I don't know how. But yeah, here's a picture of my brother, what he looks like, and then here's the generated picture from that Facebook app. Crazy stuff. Next question. How would you describe your fashion sense? So I love to wear a lot of black and white. I don't know why, but I love wearing black and white. And I'm pretty comfortable, so if I'm going out to the mall, I'd probably wear some skinny jeans, my Steve Madden shoes, and like a shirt or something. And I wear a lot of stuff from American Eagle and Francesca's. Um, and I mostly shop online because I feel like that's where the better, better deals are. So yeah, it's pretty casual, nothing like too glamorous or anything like that. What is your favorite restaurant? Mm, well, yesterday my boyfriend took me to this really nice steakhouse called Del Frisco's and it was absolutely stunning. So I guess you could say that's my favorite upscale restaurant. But if we're talking about just a normal restaurant, this is so hard because I love all different genres. Okay, I'm just gonna go through diff each little genre. So if it's Tex-Mex, which is really popular here in Texas, it would probably be on the border or Chewy's. And then if I went Italian, it would most likely be Olive Garden. I know, basic girl. Then if it's steak but not too up class, like um, high class, it would be sawgrass. Oh, so good. Love sawgrass. And then uh, Japanese, my job that I go to, I love all the food, the Japanese food at my restaurant, but it's not a chain restaurant, it's just a family owned. And what am I missing? Like American? I really love Chili's. Chili's is pretty good, to be honest. For those of you who may not like Chili's, like they have like a variety of everything so I like to go there whenever me and my friends don't know what to choose and oh cafe wise I love La Madeline so good next question what are some of your favorite TV shows well I don't really watch that much TV anymore um, but when I did I used to love watching Once Upon a Time because I'm a huge Disney fan I used to love watching like back back in the day. That's a Raven, Lizzie McGuire, Even Stevens. Anime wise, I guess you could consider anime and TV shows. A Sailor Moon, Tokyo Mew Mew, Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Fruits Baskets, Yono Kakara, Made Sama, something. I, I don't know, all the names are really confusing, but you get it. I love anime. Oh, Inuyasha, which I'm like rewatching now. Just so long, there's over 100 episodes. It's crazy. Do I have a PC or a Mac? I have both. I actually recently just bought a Mac just to make YouTube videos. I saved up money and I've always wanted a Mac. I never had one. I've always had Dell and I love Dell. I think um, I love using Dell because the Microsoft Word is what I was, what I grew up with. So the, when I bought the Mac, it was very hard for me to adjust and I had to w watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to do simple things like a screenshot and things like that. So next one. What phone do you have? I have an iPhone 7, which is what I'm using right now to record. This is the last question, I guess. Wow. Tell us one of your bad habits. Ooh, my bad habits. So one of my bad habits, I guess, is just doing weird faces at work when I'm like bored. I'll just do this and I'll just look at one of the servers and we'll just start laughing. I'll just like, you know, whenever your upper lip gets like super dry, See if I can do it. And then it just like it's stuck and just looks really funny. <laughs> I don't know why I just have 
fun doing that. I think that's so funny. I think another bad habit is uh, drinking a lot of milk. And that sounds weird, but I actually drink way too much milk than what I'm supposed to. And then I end up having to go to the bathroom and having a lot of pain, if you know what I mean. Another bad habit is not drinking enough water. I should be drinking more water, but I don't. I tend to like do this a lot. Or I say like. I say like so much. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can listen throughout this whole video and I say like all the time for no reason. Like, like, like. I'm trying to control it. I'm trying to make sure I don't say it as much, but I'm, I, I've gotten so used to it. It's very hard for me not to say it. So I need to work on that. I'm not saying like all the time. That concludes this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I wanted to create this video that way. Uh, it's kind of giving me more time to edit more other videos and just you guys to get to know me a little bit better. But I would love to hear about you guys. I wanna know what my audience is. I wanna know if I can you know, make uh, videos about school advice. Freshman 101 advice, college advice, high school advice anything i'll be more than happy to make any videos about that i would love to share my experiences or what i think so please comment below if you guys don't comment below then i don't know what to post and i just feel silly that i'm just making these random videos and there's not really a consistency of what i'm posting so i really appreciate it and all those of you who have watched my videos my subscribers who have been very active and been commenting thank you so much i love reading comments i'm on my phone all the time so when i get a comment i get really excited because i don't i only have what 55 subscribers so it, i just get so happy I'm like oh like they commented on my video and shout out to everyone who's said they like my makeup i honestly didn't really think that my makeup was the comment worthy but i really really appreciate it oh oh one thing i totally forgot to tell you guys so I'm starting to take voiceover classes. And for those of you who don't know what voiceover classes is, uh, it's basically where I get to do voiceovers for radio, commercials, uh, dubbing for animes, things like that. I really want to get that as part of a career of mine. As an artist, I want to be able to have those skills. So it just branches out my abilities as an, as a, as an actress. I just thought that was something I should have told you guys. but. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Good night.